What's up guys? We are here at Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo with our first month review of what we've been doing in the last, what, 30 or so days. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we had a mixture of some items the first month. We had a Taurus GX4, we had a CZ TSO Orange, and we also had an FN LS Edge. Now not here with us today is the Angstad Arms UTP... UDP? UDP 9. UDP 9. Yeah. Uh, we are having a little bit of an issue with that that we will talk about in our uh, YouTube video coming out on that gun. We have to send it to Angstad to do some repairs and get it back, and then we're going to do a follow-up video. So that is not here with us today, but that is also one that was in the first month roundup. So, with the first four guns we've got, Dakota, what do you think about those four so far? Uh, I'll start, I'll go left to right for us, which is right to left for y'all. Uh, <laughs> because I, I shot the FN 509 LS Edge the most. Um, it shoots smooth. It shoots. It shoots really good. It's a flat shooting gun, but the trigger is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not for, to me. The trigger makes it not worth the fifteen hundred dollar MSRP price tag on it. Uh, the CZ TSO man, that gun is freaking awesome. If you're a competition shooter and you have the money to spend on something like that, it's awesome. It's got like a pound and a half, maybe a two pound trigger. That thing is smooth. Uh, the GX4, I just had a little trigger time behind it. For a concealed carry piece, it, it, we didn't have any issues out of it. No. I think we had one failure, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, only on steel case. Steel case, steel we case. did have okay. one, yep. Yeah. Uh, UDP-9, I didn't get to shoot it much, but like you said, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, There's some reasons we didn't get a whole <laughs> lot of range time yeah. behind that one. And then, Oh, the, the uh, Shadow System. Shadow System. So again, another gun, uh, he brought up, good point. I have the Shadow Systems MR920. Yeah. Uh, one thing we found right out of the box that Shadow Systems actually had, had a little bit of a mix-up and sent the 920 instead of the 920L. So yeah. we were able to get the correct slide, which now we are reviewing the 920L. I am already know I'm buying that gun. It's going to be my <laughs> carry gun. Uh, it's actually here right now. Uh, but we do have the proper slide, uh, the one that we wanted to review, so that will be included in this new month's roundup as well. But what did you think about the Shadow while you had it? Uh, I I shot a few rounds through it. I, I really liked it. It was pretty smooth. Uh, I mean, I'm not a Glock guy, but it, it's better than a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll take that. <laughs> what about you, Charles? What about your experience with the four that we had, or five? I'll start out with the Taurus because that's the one I wanted to shoot. I carry uh, MMP Shield, and I wanted something with higher capacity, kind of like the Springfield Hellcat or the new Shield Plus. Um, all honesty, it was an impressive gun. It's a, it's snappy. It's a three-inch barrel, but overall, what you get with the price point that it is, it's, it's a serious contender. So if you're in the market for a budget concealed carry pistol, something that's going to be dependable, like we said, we only had uh, just a less than a handful of malfunctions that was on steel. Once we started shooting brass, it was, it was a champ. This is a, this is a contender. Seriously, something that that you can look at and feel confident carrying. Which, uh, you know, big props to Taurus over the past few years there. Uh, favorite gun, though, was the TSO. That CZ Tactical Sport Orange is butter. I am not a good shot. We all and, smile when uh, we start. When everybody talks about it, we yeah. all start smiling. Yeah, you just, you just smile. I mean, it's a good-looking gun. It shoots well. I mean, I'm easily, like... A pro am with this gun. <laughs> let me tell you, let me see. it even gives you extra confidence Instant right GM. there. Yeah, when, the GM it's the grandmaster. <laughs> when you when you pick this gun up, I mean, you're just dinging the targets without the ding library. So um, it's really good. The FN, not my favorite. Uh, I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. So. Uh, what a confidence letdown when uh, you put that in in your hands. But uh, somebody might enjoy that gun. It, it's not me. And then the egg said. The Angstad is, is truly a, a fun gun. What a, what a Cerakote job on that. I mean, it is a beautiful gun to look at. It is going to be a safe queen if I had it. Um, <laughs> but it's it's one that you bring out, you show the guys. Everybody's like, oh, man, I have to have that gun. Um, like we said, and you'll see in the video, uh, it had uh, some interesting characteristics. We'll put it that way. Um, it's going to be sent out, uh, sent back to Angstad. They're going to be fixing that up. I'm I'm interested in doing a, a second review, but uh, all I can say is pra pra pra. So uh, that's what we got there. Streets of Chicago, man. <laughs> <laughs> Straight from the streets, that's for sure. And then my opinion, uh, I kind of focused on the uh, CZTSO. 
just like these guys said, buttery smooth gun. Uh, I don't know that I've ever shot that nice of a gun before. Uh, I have shot a lot of nice guns in my life, but as far as just the fit, that trigger, just everything about that gun is just so phenomenally put together and thought out. Uh, it makes it a super fun gun to shoot and I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, Taurus, I had some good rounds through that. You guys know how I kind of feel about the micro compacts uh, with my big gorilla hands here. I do not have any kind of pinky rest. So I think uh, Charles is going to mention in his YouTube video, it was definitely something that I think is missing is a mag extension on this gun. For sure. Other than that, it shot great. Um, just a little snappy for me with my big hands. FN cannot say enough bad things about that gun. Uh, horrible sight design that really messes with the shooter. Um, on top of this just brick wall type of trigger that doesn't really even want to go off when you press it, that kind of seemed like a problem. Uh, now that could be a gun issue for this specific one. Yeah. I would say just in the taste that it's put in our math, in our mouth, we're probably not even willing to try to shoot this gun. Again. Yeah. And, and on that, you know, we we are YouTubers, but we also watch other YouTube videos. I've seen other people measure that trigger out at eight and a half pounds on trigger gauge. Eight and a half pounds on a fifteen hundred dollar pistol, man. That's meant for competition. That's meant for duty and competition. Is a dual purpose. Absurd. Unless you're in New York, you know how that yeah. goes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would even say that's heavy for a New York trigger. <laughs> uh, and then the Angstad. Awesomely fun gun. Uh, we'll let you determine if it's worth it or not once we yeah. come out. We think it's going to make it sell a little bit better, uh, but we fun. do want to <laughs> we do want to do our due yeah. diligence and give the company a chance to see if there was an issue, uh, fix that issue, and. Yep make sure that they tell us what that issue was before we kind of publicly come out with that. Um, so yeah, round up of the first month. You guys had a great time with yeah, it. Uh, awesome. Yeah, Hands kind of hurt a little bit from all the rounds we got to shoot through <laughs> them, uh, especially that Taurus. That one after about 500 rounds. Charles, was... Charles had a bruised up shoulder for a little, couple days. <laughs> yeah, a great shoulder. Yeah, oh man. Let's, uh, let's yeah. talk about next this coming month. Yeah. This is month two. Month right? two from Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. We're this is... Yeah, we can open them all. So uh, you're, you're kind of, this was one you were talking okay. about first. So you want to go ahead and open that one up? And... All right, so this is, uh, as you can see on the box, Cosaint Arms right there. This is their, what is the model of it? Nine millimeter, let's see. Officer. Officer. Model. Yeah, nine millimeter Officer Tungsten. It says it right there what it is. It's the FTTC9T is what they call it. but. So we'll, we'll edit that in. FTTC9, FTTC9T. Yeah. Uh, it's a 1911 single stack 9 mil. So uh, I know a lot of single stack 9 mil 1911s have had issues. So we'll see if that one holds up and how it tests out. Uh, that's you. <laughs> this is one I've actually been wanting to review for a while now. Um, and Josh actually said that this is one that they were wanting us to specifically review. So how perfect was it? It was in the color I wanted as well. So now we have the CZ Scorpion Evo 3. Uh, I mean, just look at this thing. <laughs> this thing is so Beautiful. freaking cool. Uh, probably going to try to find a way to get a folding stock adapter on this. I know Sylvan, or buddies over at Sylvan, have actually the CZ adapter out, um, the folder. So we'll probably ask for one of those. I believe that turns it into a norm normal buffer tube system too, don't it? Really? So we'll double check with that. Probably be able to throw that on this gun. Looks like it's suppressor ready and everything ready to go too. Uh, for a sub thousand dollar gun i mean already sold on this one right out of the box so hopefully it shoots good too and then something that i think everybody can enjoy is a sub 200 hundred dollar gun period period um, yeah. on this month's it would be the charles D okay so this is um imported from, from Tur turkey it is a chippewa chippewa Chiapa. 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 This shotgun is imported from Turkey. It is a Chiapa Charles Daly 12 gauge shotgun. Um, pretty sweet little setup. This one's kind of disassembled in the box. So we're not going to pull it out. Uh, what was it? Sub 180. Actually, yeah, I think 168, $169 dollars on their website right now. Uh, awesome promo going on. We've been per given permission to drag this sucker, so probably the first <laughs> thing we're going to do when we get it out to the range is tie it to a tow strap and pull it down the gravel yeah. road and see. 
that pretty gray coating isn't going to be pretty yeah, and that, very that, much longer. That actually hurt because it, it is a beautiful looking gun with the finish on this one. Uh, for 170 bucks, I really wouldn't expect it to look this yeah. good. Impressive. Yeah. yeah, definitely impressive. One thing we're pretty excited about, uh, this is one that's kind of been in the talks for since, since we started working with Smoky Mountain, is kind of starting to go along some budget AR reviews. So Voodoo Innovations is actually a Adam's Arm kind of off type of build. Uh, it utilizes other companies' receivers and parts, but they put a Voodoo Innovations name tag on this. So this is a 699 AR, um, pretty much mil spec right out of the box, comes with a government uh, profile type of barrel. Pretty basic, uh, nice little stinger style rail so you can do the nice C grip around it. Um, and they are out of Florida too, so. But we're gonna run this through its paces too. And it's not just gonna be a standing and shooting, we're actually gonna probably get right pretty right. crazy with this yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, and this will be a start to the series. So. Yeah. Uh, Smoky Mountain, as you guys know, huge gun store here in East Tennessee. Uh, we are in the armory right now <laughs> and you are only seeing a tad bit of what is available from this store. Uh, this is pretty much just handguns too. <laughs> yeah, this is just handguns back here. We're just looking at walls of rifles in front of us here. Uh, but tons of these in stock. Uh, pretty solid rifle from the most part from what we've heard, but we're going to see for ourselves if it actually holds up to that. Now, for the space gun. <laughs> space gun. <laughs> the IWI has been out for a little while. Two Me and Dakota years. actually got to shoot it at Big Daddy Unlimited two years ago when it first came out. Uh, I would say I haven't had my hands on it since then. Have you? Oh, I've not even seen one since then in person. Look at this crazy thing. Uh, <laughs> straight out of Halo, like Jay said. Um, the IWI Tavor TS-12, it has the rotating tube-fed shotgun, uh, or tube-style feed. So, it's just an insane type of shotgun. Uh, the only thing that I can even remotely compare this to would be the kel and it's not even close to being the same thing. You know, maybe looks of it, but those are two individual tubes. Um, this is a, do you know what the capacity is on this one? Uh, it's 15. 15 in the tubes and one in the chamber, so you get 16. It's got an adjustable gas system. It's got chokes, 18-and-a-half-inch uh, barrel. It's Pretty, pretty slick little shotgun there. From a little bit of experience, we have already got the quick detach set up for a sling, it looks like, yeah. too. Uh, the little bit of experience we had it is surprisingly smooth. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's just going to be a cannon yeah. out of the box, but it's not. It's, it was very maintainable, very tameable, and the only thing I really noticed from our videos last time was a massive fireball coming out of the ejection <laughs> port. So excited to shoot this one, too. We haven't really done any shotgun stuff. At, we haven't done any period together, and right. we haven't done any nope. on our my channel for a long time. So it's going to be fun to get some blowing some stuff up. You know, oh, I yeah. see us getting some watermelons and some cantaloupes out there to the range. Maybe a couple rubber dummies, and oh, if we to. can get our hands on it, some gel. Oh yeah, uh, yeah maybe. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Super excited. What do you guys think? Anything you want to add to the first month's roundup? Oh man, I, I had a blast. I, I want to say. I want to say thank you to Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo Big for thank you. making this happen. Huge uh, thank you. If it, if it wasn't for Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo, we wouldn't be doing what we're getting to do. Uh, we wouldn't be taking a few different guns on there and uh, make videos for y'all. Yep. So uh, I, know, I know he's going to say it. He's going to say it too, but we love this one. <laughs> we love you long time. <laughs> <laughs> long time. But yes. First month roundup, we wanted to do something kind of like this every single time we come in and swap out the old guns for the new guns and kind of just let everybody know a little update of what's going on and kind of give you a behind the scenes look too. I think this scenery you're witnessing right now is probably going to be what's going on the rest of the year, but next year I think the scenery is going to be much better with what is coming from Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. So that's all we can say now. Uh, big updates coming. Big updates coming. So. Signing off, Tennessee Ray, CEB Media, Opie and the Smokies. Catch you later. See y'all next time. Make yourself better today. Stay alert, stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Cool. Nailed it. Nailed it. Hey, oh, one, take. one take. One take, too. That never happens. That wasn't bad at all.